So anyway, people, how you going? This is Glenn back with another coin video. And today we're talking about the great Australian coin hunt. So um, if you're not too familiar with this, so this is a $1 coin that was issued initially through Australia Post. And what you need to do is go in there, buy something, and in the change you get a $1 coin. And this is the actual coin pack, so you actually put the coins in there. And it's 26 uh, letters of the Latin alphabet. So the alphabet that we use in a, uh, for English, Italian, what else? I think French. Any language that has, I'm not too sure about Italian. Uh, any language that uses the alphabet derived from Latin but does not have any like umlauts or anything added onto the letters that pretty much changes the sound a little bit. So in this, oh, as you can see I've already opened it, but it's a little bit damaged now the package, but anyway, uh, this is actually the roll that has the coins in it. It's actually quite a nice roll. So as you can see, it has Great Australian Coin Hunt, 26 coins. So you, you're actually paying about $1.55 per coin instead of $1 if you go to the Australia Post. But uh, some of them would actually give you more than $1 coin, some of them will not. Okay, this is a Recycle Me. Recycle Me. And uh, let's have a look at the $1 coins. So, I thought that actually these coins would actually have a mint mark. So, uh, but apparently they're just the normal ones you actually get from the post office in the change as well. So, you take the sticky tape off anyway, but then the lid comes off. So, that's actually quite nice. And then if you look at it, uh, here's the first coin is Z. So most likely uh, A is down the bottom. And uh, if we take it out, take Z out, the second coin is Y. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go down the bottom. Ooh, okay. Okay, and then we have a look at A. So, uh, let me zoom in. Oops. Damn, dropped it. So, here we go. A for Australia Post. And it doesn't have the uh, letter on it. So, right here, there are 7,500 coins with the and an envelope on it. So, they're actually pretty rare. And I think they go for a few hundred dollars at the moment. Uh, Probably overpriced at the moment. They should actually drop down. So it's A for Australia Post. Uh, let's go backwards. We have, actually let's just put them in their actual colors. So we have A for Australia Post. Put it in, we have B for Boomerang. So uh, Aboriginal hunting instrument. Then we have zoom out then we have c for cricket pretty boring game if you ask me but the indians love it so put oh make sure you don't damage the actual oh, looks like that one's not going to go in properly no no so c then we have d for didgeridoo so an instrument also from some indigenous Aboriginal groups, but not all. Not all of them actually use the didgeridoo. E for esky, so I think in America it's called a cool box or something like that. So as you can see, it has bottles coming out of it. So you put ice in there and you um, keep things cool. You can put meat in it as well. Anything you need to keep cool. Uh, then we have, oh, what do you get? F for footy. So this is AFL they're talking about, which is 
indigenous to southern Australia, probably Victoria's where it originated. Oh, we put that in. Then we have G for G'day. G'day, mate, how you going? So G, G is, represents good. Good day. Good day, how you going? And they just heard a greeting that has evolved in Australia. So let's open this up. Damn, all the coins went everywhere. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. So, what's the next one? Uh, G, H for Hills Hoist, so that's just a clothesline. Invented in Australia. I like swinging around on those when I was a kid. Uh, H, I. I for... Oh, there you go. Oist, Vovo. No idea what that is, really. They could put something else on that. I, what can I be for? Hmm. Uh, don't know. Don't know. Now I've got to look for the rest. I'm looking for J. J. Now, I'm not too sure if these are actually go up in value. Uh, it depends on supply and demand. Whether there is enough demand and it depends on how many coins those are actually minted. Considering how they have uh, minted the commemorative coins, I reckon that there's going to be at least one or two million of these actually minted. Okay, Jackaroo and Jillaroo, they live on um, uh, kettle farms, so or ranches, what they call them in America, I think. Uh, and they're usually in the drier parts of Australia. J K for roast kangaroo, yum. And this is the actual kangaroo that they actually used on the one penny. So do I have a one penny? Yes I do, just wait. So here, let me try and get it. Here I have a one penny from 1941. And as you can see, kangaroo is pretty much the same. So, that's what, hey, it's K for kangaroo. I mean, kangaroo's derived from an indigenous word. I can't remember which language it is. Because you have like 300 indigenous languages. K, L, for L, L, L. L is for lamington. Uh, not one of my favorite things, but look up lamington if you don't know what it is. It has an Australian flag. Just chocolate, sponge chocolate with coconut, and sometimes have jam. L M. Hmm. M. Nice M M meat pie. Unless it uh, has a lot of flavouring in it, and they're pretty disgusting. Just a normal meat pie with gravy. Yeah, whatever. Give me a curry meat pie any day. Uh, personally, I'm not interested in strained food. Uh, I prefer to have something more interesting. Okay, N for, is that N? No, that's Z. Okay, here's N. N for neighbors. God, really? They could have put a numbat on it. N for numbat instead of bloody stupid TV show. Really, uh, it's probably one of my least favorite coins. Oh. Oh, 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 that's Q. Ah, uh, oh, who cares, we'll do Q. Ah, uh, Q for quokka. This is a cute animal. Look at it on the internet. Very cute. Comes from Western Australia. So we'll put that in Q. And then we go to... Nope. Uh, oh, here it is. O for Outback. So here we have a... Um, windmill, and this is actually a water windmill, it actually pumps water from an aquifer and it usually goes into a trough to give animals something to drink. And then we have P, P for platypus. Now this is what I like to see, this is more strained in bloody neighbours. Um, oops, so platypus, nice beautiful coin. Oh I forgot to say, here is the obverse, it's just a IRB effigy. 
not the Jody Clark one. Uh, I've heard that those Jody Clark effigies have actually come into circulation. P Q. Now I'm looking for R. R is for Royal Flying Doctor Service, and that's a medical service that operates in Outback Australia. So Outback for Royal Flying Doctor Service. R S for Okay, surf, life-saving, not really Australian, but occurs in a lot of countries. So, but it is essential for beaches, it helps people from drowning. So, there is that one, S. And let's do the rest. Okay, so it's T. Okay, so then we have a S. T for fongs, I think they call them flip flops in the United States, but we're calling them fongs here, shoes that you wear. Okay, let's put that on up there, and let's move it around. There you go. Okay, so U. U is for you, as you can see the car there. Not that common in Australia, but pretty useful if you live on farms or if you're a tradesperson. Um, v. V for Vegemite, everyone in Australia is familiar with Vegemite, nice black spread, like Marmite and Promite and other stuff. Um, w, W for Wheat Bix, uh, a cereal that's made by, who makes Wheat Bix? Kind of sanitarium I think, and you put milk with it and you put sugar. And my mum actually eats that at night time. But it's a breakfast cereal. Uh, whatever you like. No one really cares if it's not hurt anyone. Okay. Z for Zantipi. This is apparently a town in uh, Western Australia, as you can see. So we have all the different states here. We have uh, Western Australia, and the dot is where the town is. Northern Territory, South Australia, Queensland. Uh, New South Wales, Victorians, Tasmania, Canberra's over here. And then you have like Cocoa, Christmas Island over here, Norfolk Island over here. And another state, Tas uh, New Zealand is down there. Meh, meh. So did Z. Uh, X, should I say. Then we have Y for Yowie. Yowie is like a bunyip. It's an indigenous um, folk mythology uh probably someone was turned into a yaoi and for doing something which is pretty standard in uh, different stories of the native population so and then we have z z is for super duper so this is just like an icy pole different flavors and uh, as you can see the coins are actually a bit damaged which doesn't surprise me. So to get an uncirculated one is probably very hard. So oh, let me put that in. So there you go. Let's have a look, hope none fall out. So this is basically what you're gonna do. Put the coins in there. And you can see you've got different images. So the lifesaver, got the kangaroo, got someone playing cricket. Then you fold it up. So this is the actual coin hunt information here. Uh, and yeah, there's the website there. I believe it's run by Australia Post. Uh, celebrating Australia. Has Santa Claus. Santa Claus is not really Australian. It's international. And basically, it gets a bit heavy actually. So here's a post box in which you put mail in Australia and that is my coin collection not that bad on the reverse so it's a yaoi there looks pretty frightening and that's probably just Europeanized and yeah lots of different things so um, I'm a bit disappointed that they actually don't have the um, envelope 
the envelope um, mint mark because I thought all of them actually did. That's why I didn't bother actually going to actually get any of the coins from Australia Post. But anyway, if you get the envelope, congratulations. Because why not? It's just luck of the draw what you get. Until you open it up, you don't know what's in there. And uh, be careful buying these that are actually been opened. Because you don't know if they've actually searched for it. Which, uh, they've opened it so most likely they have. Anyway, I hope you like this coin set. Not bad. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Bye-bye.